In 2022, Democrat Will Rollins challenged longtime Republican Congressman Ken Calvert in California's redrawn 41st district, considered a toss-up. Calvert ultimately won by about 11,000 votes. Rollins actually learning of his defeat while attending new member orientation. They thought it was could have won. Today, Rollins announced he's running again. And he's already securing some big endorsements. California representatives Barbara Lee, Katie Porter, and Adam Schiff are running against each other for Senate. They've all backed Rollins, as has Nancy Pelosi. Congressional candidate for California's 41st District, Will Rollins, back with us. Will, good to see you. Great to see you guys. Congratulations on the run. I don't know if I should say congratulations on the run, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting thing. Um, what made you decide to do this again, and, and had you always known from the losing that you were always going to do this again? Well, I didn't know for sure, um, but you know, I spent five years working in law enforcement and counterterrorism, and grew up in a family that values public service and the rule of law. And I think that every American in this moment has to step up to the plate and do their job to protect our democracy, first and foremost. Well, you lost by, uh, as Alex just mentioned, uh, Calvert won by 11,000 votes. We mentioned the big names that you have now, so that that's a difference. What else do you expect to be different? Why do you expect to win this time around? Well, people, I think, were just getting to know me in the last election, and what we saw looking at the data is that when people do know me, um, they supported me, and that's why I was really proud to have some of the most proud endorsements that I had last time were from Republicans, like the former uh, elected Republican assembly leader in California and the former elected Republican sheriff in Riverside County. And so I think building on that bipartisan coalition that we had the first time and also trying to get out there and meet more people um, in the western side of the district in particular is going to be a big difference. And so that district is the Inland Empire, also Palm Springs, a part of the district as, as well. Um, you know, there's Ken Calvert's one of the longest serving members of Congress. He's been there a long time. There's also been a lot in the news recently about Senator Dianne Feinstein uh, and the fact that she's been there so long. You've made some news talking about this concept of term limits. We want to show up on the screen some of the info of, of the, the the proposal that you put forward, you think that there should be six terms in the House, remember those are two years terms, three years in the U.S. Senate, those are six year terms, plus a cap on the terms for the Supreme Court, rotating federal circuit court judges on the high court. Um, why do you think that this is necessary? And, and in reality, in California, we've kind of tried this. And do you think it's really working that well, or is it just people going from job to job without a lot of experience and knowing what they're doing? Well, I think you got to pair it with a lifetime ban on lobbying, too. Because what you don't want to have happen is people thinking about their next job while they're serving us in Congress. But I do think that the country needs to cultivate a new generation of leadership across the board, and we need to start doing it sooner rather than later. I mean, in Riverside County, voters have had Calvert for over 30 years years and this is somebody who's been ranked one of the most corrupt members of congress and he hasn't been able to be defeated and that new generation hasn't been able to come in i think in part because incumbents get so entrenched you think congress is going to vote to get rid of their own power and take them all out of office N no unfortunately i don't but i think we need more representatives who are going to campaign on ideas like that and also people who are going to push for constitutional amendments and look these are big idealistic structural changes to our democracy but i think that americans across the board regardless of party really want them. Alex just mentioned Dianne Feinstein. There were recent calls for her to step down given the health issues and her age, 89 years old. Our president, currently the oldest president, if he were to be reelected, he'd be sworn and take that oath of office at 82 years old. You don't support age limits. Why? Well, I think people can function really well at older ages and also young people can be very extreme at young ages. I mean, look at Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene, right? I don't think those are the kinds of leaders who are young that we want to be putting forward to lead the United States and build bridges instead of rip people apart. So, um, look, I think each person is different and voters have to make the, the choice based on an assessment of each individual candidate. But I do think we want more turnover and cultivating a new generation of Americans to get into government. Will Rollins, great to see you. Best of luck out on the campaign trail, and, and we hope Congressman Calvert will join us soon with his perspective as well. But great. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me.